Go. Okay, we have our different parts here. You have your tank, your evacuation machine, your hoses, your manifold, and your pliers that actually let you get into the copper lines. First thing we're going to set up is the manifold. We're going to attach our hoses to it and the hoses to what they belong. First we're going to start with our blue line. We're going to attach our blue line right under the blue manifold gauge. Make sure you get it tight enough so nothing leaks out. Next you are going to grab your yellow line. You're going to attach your yellow line right under the hook here. Again, make sure you do have it tight enough. Next, you're going to attach your red hose. You're going to attach it to the evacuation machine. Underneath where it says out, you'll see red goes to red. Again, make sure it's tight. The other side of your red line will go to your tank. You'll see the red valve. You're going to attach it right there. Again, tight. Now the other end of your yellow line is going to attach to your evacuation machine. You're going to attach where it is blue and in goes to yellow, blue to yellow. Again tight. And the other side of your blue line is going to attach to your evacuation pliers. You're going to attach it just right there. And then the final step is to plug your machine into power. Got to have power to work. Okay. Next step, you're going to make sure all your valves are closed. You have it closed before you start, especially your manifold. Make sure that they're closed. Then you're going to open up these two to make sure that evacuation can go through. You're going to go ahead, turn, make sure the tank's open so that Freon can flow into there. And then turn it on. Once you do have it on, this is the part we actually attach to the machine. You're going to find the copper piece. It'll be this little short stub here. It'll look like it's usually cramped, clamped off and usually cut off, but it's not. You're going to find this piece. Make sure that your little needle here inside is going to go right on the center of the metal. You don't want it to go off to the side. Then going to open up just the blue side of the manifold going to open it up and it'll start drawing pressure out. You'll see the gauge begin to go down. That is because it's drawing Freon out of the refrigerator. You'll want to go until it starts touching the green portion, which is a zero or below, and that's where there's to be no pressure buildup or it'll be drawing a vacuum. You can see now that it is at zero or below. You now turn off this valve. Remove your pliers. Sometimes they get a little stuck. You're gonna turn off your blue valve here. There's nothing more in. You're gonna turn it off. You're then gonna turn off this. And then turn off your valve to the tank.